Hardly the Denver Opera House, but it will do. Tickets for my performance tonight will be on sale at the box office. One dollar and a quarter per admission. However, those of you wishing to obtain seats at this moment may do so from Miss Revere at the special advance price of one dollar only. My program tonight will conclude with my celebrated portrayal of the infamous Lady Macbeth. <laughs> However, as usual, I shall require the assistance of a gentleman in my Shakespearean presentation. No worse thespian experience is required, however a modicum of intelligence. And sensitivity is demanded. You. You, young man. Would you care to attempt treading the boards with me? Well, I... Uh, you may well find our association memorable, Mr... Um, uh, Yuma, Johnny Yuma. No, Mr. Yuma. Yes, ma'am. Well, then what do you say? Well, I, I don't know. I kind of figured to be around looking for work. I'm uh, broke past the bar. Oh, you'll be suitably compensated, of course. Well, then. I doubt you'll have any such opportunity again, young man. I guarantee you an experience you'll not find in any book. <laughs> That's all? <laughs> all right, I'll try it. Splendid! Johnny Yuma was a rebel, he roamed through the west, did Johnny Yuma the rebel, he wandered alone. Langley, I'm not so sure about this being an actor. Uh, why don't you use your driver? <laughs> but he doesn't drive, he drinks. Besides, we made a bargain, young man. Don't dawdle out there, girl. Those are your sides, Mr. Yuma. You will portray the doctor. It's a small part, but a challenging one. And this is Miss Ruth Revere, my protege. She will essay the gentle lady in waiting. Uh, would you find that costume later, child? Now, the scene is the anteroom of the castle. You will begin. Will you sit down, girl? Mr. Yuma. It is you who begins our little dramatization. Oh, I'm sorry. I have two nights watch with you, but can perceive... To your companion, Mr. Yuma, please. You have met. Yes, ma'am. I have two nights watch with you, but can perceive no truth in your report. When was it she last walked? Lo, here she comes, and upon my life, fast asleep. How came she by that candle? Why, it stood by her. She has light by her continually. Tis her command. Her eyes are open? Aye, but their sense is shut. What is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. 
It is an accustomed action with her to seem thus washing her hands. Yet here's a spot. Hark, she speaks. Oh, damn it! Spot out, I say! One, two, why then tis time to do it. Hell is murky! Fie, my lord, a soldier and a feared. What need we fear who knows it, when none can call our power to account? Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? Go. Go, you have heard what you should not. She has spoken what she should not. <gasps> the Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? Oh, will these hands ne'er be clean? Here's the smell of blood stiff. All the perfumes of Arabia cannot sweeten this little hand. Oh. Oh, look not so pale. I tell you, Banquo spirit, he cannot come out on his grave. To bed. To bed, there's knocking at the gate. Come, 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 give me your hand. Done cannot be undone. To bed. To bed. To bed. I think, but dare not speak. She has amazed my sight. Foul whisperings are abroad. Unnatural deeds. And so, good night.
Well, thank you, young man. And may I say, many a more experienced actor might envy your distinct natural ability. Thank you. And, um, thanks for the use of the costume. Um, Miss Langley, uh... Goodness knows, <laughs> the stage does need young blood. Oh, the theater's in a bad state, Mr. Yuma, at a very bad pass indeed. Um, Miss Langley, you uh, mentioned something about pay? Ah, oh, yes, yes, I did say something about suitable compensation. Yes, didn't I? Well, now, let me see. Ah, mm-hmm. It's autographed and should prove a priceless memento someday. Well, uh, I'm very honored, Miss Langley. But that's not my understanding of, uh, suitable compensation. Oh, but the experience you gained tonight... ...has been delightful, but has nothing to do with the pay you promised. Well, I see I was wrong. You have little or no artistic instinct. You're a mercenary clod. Thank you. Miss Langley, if I wasn't broke, I wouldn't ask you for the money. Miss Langley. You keep out of this, child? You value yourself too highly, young man. I value myself and my worth, and I'm sure you do, too. Besides, we made a bargain. Miss Langley, you could always... When I want the advice of a puling infant, I'll ask for it. No. What kind of a woman are you? My expenses have been high. And tonight's performance was not a financial success. That's a lie. I don't mean to hurt you, Miss Langley. You just keep your hands real still, young fella. What is the meaning of this? You get out of my wagon immediately. Can't, Miss Langley. I gotta take you with me. All of you. Look, mister, you're drunk. Why don't you go home and sleep it off? You just be quiet. You all gotta come with me for a while. We are going nowhere. I have a performance in Laramie tomorrow night, and I have never missed a performance. You turn around. Move! Now you gotta come with me. So you're coming. on the head. He sure did. Where's Miss Langley? Out in front. That man's got a gun pointed at her. How long have we been moving? Half an hour, maybe less. I'm not very good at guessing. I think I can kick that door open. Get you out of here. Without you? I couldn't leave Miss Langley alone. I can't leave her either. Why, she's a miserable, rock-hard woman. I know, but I can't leave her. Why not? She's my mother. Yeah, figures. Who? Oh. there, both of you. Mama, are you all right? Perfectly. Mama, what does that man want? I don't know. I don't care and don't call me that. Now, Miss Langley, you got to do something for me. 
do something for you. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best way, but I couldn't think of anything else. Anyway, you got to do it. Well, I don't know what it is I've got to. But I intend to do absolutely nothing without a complete explanation. Bravo. You stay out of this, young man. I... I brought you and these people out here to give a performance. And you're going to do it. Give a performance? Here? Yes, ma'am. Well, well, I have given many in front of crowned heads of state. But I have never given a nor do I intend to give a single one in a prairie hut. Look, I got a kid in there who thinks you're the finest thing in the world. And she's going to see you act or out. Or you'll shoot me? No. I'll shoot him. And your daughter. Are you out of your head? All you had to do was take your kid to town and buy a couple of tickets. I couldn't. She's sick. She's sick and she's weak. Young man, we'd better be off. You're driving me to Laramie. I have never missed a performance. No, no, please. Please don't leave. You don't understand. I left them. My wife and daughter, I went off chasing the moon, one washout deal after another. This time I came back, my wife was dead, and, and my kid, she won't even talk to me, anything. She's sick, and she just sits there in the house, and, and, and she won't even look at me. Come along, child. She knows all about you, Miss Langley. She thinks you're everything. Everything clean and pretty. So I told her stories, lies, about how I knew you real well back east. I had to. If you'd just come and see her, maybe put on a show just for her, you gotta do it. And you gotta tell her you know me. My name's Will. Will Arvid. And you just gotta. I do not have to do anything, Mr. Arvid. Come along, Ruth. The great lot of Langley has spoken. I don't want to hear any more from you, young man. Oh, I'm sure you don't. You say the word young like it was a curse. That's pretty funny coming out of your mouth. You never owned up to your own daughter. That'll make you look a lot older than what you admit to being. Sure, Ruth is young. And maybe a lot more talented than you wanted to be. Talented? Why, you ignorant cowboy. What do you know about talent? I know a selfish, arrogant woman when I see one. A woman who's scared of every line that shows up on her face. Miss Langley, you are a swindler. You cheat me out of my little bit of pay and your own daughter out of her identity. You may be a great actress, but you're a poor excuse for a mother, and you have all the prospects of being a rotten human being. Come, Ruth. No. Ruth! This man has a sick child and no one to help him. He's worried what his child thinks of him, but you could never understand that. Well, if he'd only come and ask me. But he came with a loaded gun and kidnapped us all, forcibly. I was afraid. It's the only way I knew. If you had merely asked me. You would have turned him down. If he come hat in hand, you would have enjoyed it, but you would have turned him away. Well, I... Well, he, he... He had no right. Pointing a gun at us, hitting you. I know, but I'm willing to forget. I... I'm sorry. I just never could do anything the easy way. Please, Miss Langley, please. What's your daughter's name? Lotta. Lotta Sue Arvid. Lotta Sue. Very well. I'll speak to the child, but I will give no performance.
Hello. Hello, Lotta Sue. Do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course you do. I came to see you just as soon as your father came and told me that you were ill. Did you know that your father and I were old, old friends? Yes, yes, of course you knew that too. Well, I'd like you to meet the other members of my troupe. Now, this is Mr. John Yuma. And this is, this is my daughter, Miss Ruth Revere. A lot of Sue, we thought you might enjoy seeing a little performance. Uh, well, perhaps, sir, uh, in fact, if, if you're feeling well enough, you, you might help us give it. Well, uh, yes, let's see now, what should we do? Um, oh, yes, your father's favorite, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Would you like that? Oh, yes. Papa? Then, Will, dear, would you be so kind? Go out to the wagon and get the sides. It's the book with the blue cover. You shall be Mercutio, my little namesake. He's the plum. Besides, he makes an early exit so you can sit back and enjoy the rest of the performance. Now, Mr. Yuma will essay Romeo, although I'm afraid he's not up on the part. And I... Uh, well, it... Uh, it might be better if we let my daughter Ruth portray Juliet. You see, the part does call for a very, very young woman. A little more than a child, really. And uh, I shall play the nurse. It's a small part, true, but, but a demanding and pivotal one, as I'm sure you understand. And now, let's prepare. Johnny, how do you feel about my mother now? Well, I can't say I like her, but I'm beginning to... Respect, I hope, is the word. Yeah, I think it is. Ruth and I will be staying a few days, so you better get word to Laramie. Please. Sure thing. I'll leave Will's horse back in town. Here. Well, suitable compensation? Yes. Miss Langley, can I ask you a favor? What? Could I have that autograph picture now? You already have. I never miss a chance to advertise. If he figured that he'd been pushed enough, the rebel. John Yuma! This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.